Learn Excel from Mr. Excel Podcast, episode 2504. Is there a way to default to a flattened pivot table with no subtotals by default? Today's question from Laura in my Nashville webinar, how can I make my pivot tables default to have no subtotals? Now look, I'm gonna blame this on Rob Cauley, right? Back when Rob was on the Power Pivot team, they, in the Power Pivot window, gave us this pivot table dropdown where we could create a single pivot table, single pivot chart, several other options, and then right there, the last one was a flattened pivot table. Then Rob left Microsoft, and soon, you know, that those eight choices were just replaced with pivot table. Uh, it had to be when Rob's influence left. Uh, you know, I know how much he loves flattened pivot tables. Uh, it, it just disappeared, right? So we had a feature, it was there, disappeared, but now I realize it's back thanks to pivot table defaults. So let's take a look at Laura's question. We're gonna insert a pivot table. Okay, we're going to put sector, customer, product along the left-hand side, revenue, cost of goods sold, and profit in the values area. And you see that we're getting an AT&T subtotal. We're getting a communications subtotal. Uh, all of those totals are happening automatically. All right, so if you're a person who doesn't want those subtotals and just wants a nice flat pivot table, we can now have control of that. Do you have the feature? Well, it wasn't there in Excel 2016, uh, but certainly by Excel 2019 or Microsoft 365. Go to File Options. If you have this data category, then you definitely have the button. Uh, make changes to the default layout of pivot tables. Edit default layout. And what we're going to do is we're going to change from the compact form to tabular form. Uh, under subtotals, we're going to say no subtotals. Do not show subtotals and also repeat all item labels. Grant totals, we can even turn those off, right? So off for rows and columns and click OK. Now all future pivot tables should start out in a nice flat pivot table. Insert, pivot table, OK. And again, we'll choose sector, customer, product, revenue, cost of goods sold and profit. And look at that, what a beautiful data set ready for reuse. Summarize the data down to one line for each combination of sector, customer, product. Summed everything up for us. There's no subtotals to get in the way. None of this crazy product, customer, sector, all in column A. Who would ever want something like that? Uh, and so that is a great way to go. I loved when Laura asked that question uh, because I've certainly never included this in any of my books, but you know, since 2010, when we talked about a flattened pivot table in, in Power Pivot, uh, but I realized with the pivot table defaults now, we basically can make all future pivot tables start in this awesome flat pivot table. Well, hey, I want to thank Laura for asking that question. I want to thank the Nashville IMA for sponsoring our webcast, and I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.